Hi and welcome to Spice and Pans. Today we'll be cooking fragrant spicy chicken pot. So let's start cooking. Now we are going to marinate our chicken. I have with me over here 530 grams of chicken. I'm using chicken drumstick as well as boneless chicken thigh, cut into small pieces like this. You can use any parts of the chicken that you like. Add in 2 tablespoons of dark soy sauce, 2 tablespoons of soy sauce, light soy sauce, 2 tablespoons of oyster sauce. Mix them up well first. After you mix them up well, add in 1 and a half tablespoon of corn flour or cornstarch. Mix them up well together again and we leave them in the fridge to marinate for at least an hour. I'll see you back in a while. Now we're prepared to put our dish together. Heat up a clay pot. If you do not have one, you can use your wok or your pot. It's okay, no problem at all. Add in a good amount of oil. We need a little bit more oil for this. Add in 20 grams of sliced young ginger. Just put it in. I'm using medium low heat over here. So I just want the flavor to be out. Once you can smell the ginger, we'll add in two whole onions, sliced thinly, like this. I'm using red onion. You, if you don't have red onions, you can always use yellow onions, no problem at all. Just soften them up a little bit. This will add flavor to this dish. This is actually a very versatile dish. You can eat it as a main dish with steamed rice, or you can actually use this as a base for your steamboat. And my friends love this dish. If you are using this as a base for your steamboat, just prepare on the side a pot of chicken stock so you can just add the chicken stock in whenever you need to fill up the stock or soup. Once the onions are soft, you we'll add in a scallion, the stem of a scallion. Just put it in. Add in also 7 cloves of garlic, half. Just move them around. If you're in my kitchen right now, you can really smell how fantastic this is. We'll fry until all of them are softened a little bit or a little bit charred. Now we'll add in 2 tablespoons of spicy broad bean paste. And also add in 10 pieces of dried chilli, which I've rehydrated and deseeded too. If you like it more spicy, you can always add in more chilli. Of course, if you want it less spicy, you can reduce the number of chilli used. Don't worry about the broad bean paste sticking on your clay pot because later we'll deglaze them with water. Wow. Okay, now we're adding our water. Add in one liter of water. We don't have to wait for the water to come to a boil. Now we just add in our chicken. Pour everything in, including the marinating sauce. Now I don't like to waste this sauce, so normally I'll take a scoop, get some liquid. Wash it down a little bit and pour it back in. Now we put the lid on and wait for this to come to a boil. The sauce should be boiling already. Yes, it is. We're adding one teaspoon of sugar to balance up the taste first. And we'll add in our veg. I'm adding in 350 grams of potatoes, sliced thinly like this. Put them all in. The good thing about this dish is you can put in anything or any vegetables that you like. This is what we normally do for our own uh, fragrant spicy pot. The unique taste comes from the bell pepper. One green, one red, put everything in. So if you are thinking of skipping them, try not to because this is really very vital for this dish. I'm adding in also the leaves from the scallions. Just put everything in. To increase the sweetness of my dish, I'm adding in 180 grams of Chinese cabbage or wong bok. Just put everything in. This is so good. Another vital ingredient will be coriander leaf. This is one big bunch of it. I'll be using two thirds of it to season or to flavor the dish first. And the rest I'll use to beautify the dish. Now we'll put the lid back on and let this cook for another 10 minutes at medium heat. 10 minutes is up. Let's have a look. Wow. Smells really good. Let's just have a taste. Stir it up a little bit. Mm. 
This smells so wonderful now. Oh, mm. really good. Now we're adding our enoki mushroom, 100 grams. Just shift it, some of the vegetables aside. Make some place. Put in your enoki mushroom. This cook very fast, so I put this last. And I'll be adding in 40 grams of pre-soaked glass vermicelli, which I've already soaked and softened them. This also cooked very fast. Let's yes, put them in. Submerge them in this beautiful gravy. Now we are adding some cornstarch solution to thicken up the sauce. Don't make it too thick. If you don't want it to be too thick, it's really up to you. But I like it that the sauce can actually cling on to the ingredients. You can turn up the heat a little now. Oh, beautiful dish. Finally, I'll add in the rest of my coriander leaves. And it's time to have our lunch. And now the dish is done, let's have a taste. Oh, it smells really good. The vermicelli. Mmm. I up the sauce really, really well. Noki mushroom. Love this. Don't mind if I use my hand. Mmm. Tender. Slight spiciness, but very flavorful. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you like our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.